Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hancock Park's Virtual Experiences Discovery Stories. We have been spending the month learning about um, maple syrup. So I hope you've been joining us. Remember, on Mondays we have our stories, but on Wednesdays and Fridays, join us at 1 o'clock also to learn a little bit more about the maple sugaring process. So we've learned a little bit about pioneer times, and we had a fun book last week. I learned about maple syrup where we had a bear talk. Well, today, this is more about modern. So this is called Harvest to Home Maple Syrup. The sugar maple is a favorite North American tree. It offers people one gift after another. The sugar maple has strong hard wood for building. It has wide leaves for summer shade. Each fall, it offers beauty with bright red, yellow, and orange leaves. The sugar maple also offers something tasty, maple syrup. Now look right here. Does this kind of look like Litzenberg? It's not, but that's what it reminds me of. And that's where we can find some sugar maple trees. Maple syrup is a sweet, sticky liquid. It tastes and looks rich and yummy. Maple syrup is a beautiful golden yellow color called amber. People pour maple syrup onto waffles and pancakes. They also use it to sweeten coffee, cereal, and ice cream. Maple syrup can be made into other products too, like maple sugar, maple cream, maple butter, and maple candy. Are you getting hungry? I know I am. Most breakfast syrups in food stores are made from corn products. Corn syrup is much cheaper to make than maple syrup. Now some corn syrup maples add maple syrup to make their products taste even better. Sugar maples are most common in the Northeast. Most maple syrup is made there. Vermont is the leading maple syrup maker in the United States. New York is second, followed by Wisconsin and New Hampshire. But Quebec, in Canada, makes even more maple syrup than all of the United States together. Maple syrup is made from maple, maple sap. Maple sap is a clear, watery liquid that's inside trees. In late winter and early spring, northern nights are cold, but days can be warm. Maple trees begin to wake up and sap begins to flow. This is called the sugaring season. This is when sugar maple makers head to the woods or the sugar bush. Remember how we've done some talks and we went out to the sugar bush? Now you can see here some modern maple sugar um, collectors here, they use plastic pipe to collect. And here, Sweet smelling steam rises from the boiling sap in a Vermont sugar house. Remember the sugar house? Now, sugar season lasts for about six weeks. It starts in late February, and that's when it's very cold or very warm, and that can change. Sugar maples, makers are people who make maple syrup. They are called sugar makers because maple syrup is full of natural sugars. In the past, maple sap was made into sugar far more than syrup. Now, the first step to making maple syrup is to gather maple sap. Now, people get maple sap in much the same way that the yellow-bellied sap suckers do. Now, the sap sucker is a woodpecker that loves tree sap. With its beak, the sap sucker drills little holes in the tree. The sap oozes out of the holes. The sap sucker then drinks the sap. And because the holes are small, the tree can heal itself easily. Now human sap collectors drill little holes too. Each hole is less than half an inch wide and just two and a half inches deep. This is called tapping the tree. Most trees have only one hole or tap. Now larger trees may have two, three, or four taps. 
the sack collector puts a small metal or plastic spout in the tap. The sap inside the tree flows into the tap and out the spout. The spout drips the sap into a pail or into thin, soft plastic pipeline. Now the sap flows downhill through the pipelines. Some sugar maple, maples may have pumps that, that draw the sap uphill a short ways. Now the pipelines empty into the tanks in the woods or to the sugar house. The sugar house is the building where sap is made into maple syrup. The sap that is collected in pails has to be emptied into a tank on a sleigh or a truck, and then it's taken to the sugar house. Wouldn't it be fun to use horses to collect your sap? Now maple sap only tastes a little sweet because it's mostly water. The sugar maples maker's job is at the sugar house is to take out most of that water. To do that, they boil the sap. The heat turns water into steam. The steam floats away, leaving behind pure sugary maple syrup. It takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. So it takes about four large tapped sugar maples six weeks to make 40 gallons of sap. Now think about that. Now on Wednesday for our virtual experiences is our last day of learning about our maple sugaring process. But don't forget to join us on other days because we're going to continue on our Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 o'clock virtual experiences where we're going to learn some more about the parks and some more about animals. Have a wonderful time, everybody. Bye.